this video is created by Jagrat Creation. It is on accounting for branches independent branch. I wish to solve one sum here before you. Just observe the sum on the screen. APEC Limited of Kolkata has a branch at Delhi. To which the goods are supplied from Kolkata, but the cost thereof is not recorded in the head office books. On 31st of March 2017, branch balance sheet was as follows. This is the balance sheet of branch. During the six months ending on 30th September 2017, the following transaction took place at the Delhi branch. Sales, purchase, wages, paid, salary, inclusive, advance 2000. General expenses, fire insurance paid for the whole year. Remittance, 38,400. This fire insurance is, is for the one year. And these are the details for six months. So six months, fire insurance is prepaid. Manager salary, collection from debtors, discount allowed, discount on, cash paid to creditors. Building account, further payment for building. Extension of building is there. But this is a further payment made, cash in hand, cash at bank. Set out the head of his accounts in Delhi books and branch balance sheet as on 30th September 2017 also give the journal entries in the Delhi book. So this is the trial balance sheet, opening balance sheet, the branch is given. These are the transaction. First of all, I will record the transaction. And in light of that, whatever the balances that are changing, that I will record. And on the basis of that, I will proceed with the sum. Just observe. So these are the various accounts that I have prepared. And all this, this is the trial balance of brand that I am going to prepare for after 6 months. And here, this is the balance sheet. So creditors balance is, so I have prepared creditors account. Head office account, head office account. Data's balance, so data's account. Building extension, cash and bank account, so cash and bank account. So these are the accounts that I have prepared. As I am asked to prepare the balance sheet, so I have prepared also balance sheet. That I will that I'll be preparing at the end. Let me first write down the opening balances. To which changes are going to occur because of transactions for 6 months. So opening balance of creditors, credit balance, opening balance brought down. Head of his credit balance, debtors debit balance, cash and bank debit balance. So opening balances are recorded. After recording this opening balances, I will record the transaction for six months as I have generally recorded in a chapter of single entry by conversion method. Just observe the transaction which I intend to record. Sales, this sales is presumed to be credit sales. So debtors account debit to sales account credit. Sales will appear in my trial balance. So, debtors account debit, sales credit balance will appear in my trial balance. Purchases, purchases will appear debit balance in my trial balance and the purchases are presumed to be on credit, on credit basis. So, purchase account debit to creditors account credit. So, 48,000 creditors account is credited and this purchase will appear in my trial balance. Wages paid. So, expense paid, wages will appear in the trial balance, payment made there against will be recorded on the payment side of cash and bank account, credit side. So, 20,000 wages paid, recorded in trial balance. Salary inclusive of 2,000 advance. Now, 6,400 total payment made. Out of that, 2,000 is advance. Advance salary paid is a balance sheet item. And 6,400 minus 2,000, so 4,400 is the salary expense for the six months. So let me write down first of all advance paid 2000. Payment is made so cash and bank account is to be credited. Advance salary paid will appear on the balance sheet asset side. So advance salary I write 2000 here. See when I prepare the trial balance I am careful about one thing. The items to be recorded in trading and profit and loss account that I am going to write in the upper part of my trial balance and the balance sheet items that I am going to write in the lower part of my trial balance, this is the technique that I am going to follow, especially for this sum. Now 4400, 
6,400 minus 2,000 advance paid, 4,400 is expense for six months. So payment is made, so cash and bank account is to be credited and the expense will appear in the travel balance, salary is 4,400 for six months. As I am required to prepare, prepare the balance sheet at the end of six months, so advance salary will appear in the balance sheet at the end. General expenses, payment is made, so cash and bank account is to be credited. General expense, debit balance will be recorded in the trial balance. Fire insurance paid for the one year, so 3,200 is a payment for the whole year. Here I am preparing, preparing my, the accounting period for which I record the transaction is of six months. So six months insurance premium is prepaid. So prepaid insurance will appear in the balance sheet and the payment is made. So cash and bank account is to be credited and prepaid insurance I will write in my trial balance, debit balance of prepaid insurance. Remaining insurance expense for six months, this is the insurance expense. So that is the, for that also the payment is made. So I write in cash and bank account on the payment side and insurance expense I will write in my trial balance. Remittance to HO. So HO account debit to cash account credit. Debit the receiver, cash goes out, cash account is to be credited. Manager salary paid. Now see, this is the credit, this is a debit. Credit minus debit. Remittance to HO. So balance I will record in my trial balance. That is HO account balance is recorded. HO account balance for like 29,600. This is the balance that I have recorded. Now manager salary. It will be recorded in the payment side, manager salary expense, star balance, debit balance. Now next transactions. Collection from debtors, cash and bank account, debit to debtors account credit. Discount allowed. This discount allowed is an expense item will appear in the trial balance and debtors account will be credited for that. So discount allowed appears in trial balance as an expense. Discount allowed credited to debtors account. Discount done, income, trial balance, credit balance, credit side, and creditor's account is to be debited, discount done. This is an income, so it, has, it is credited, it is a credit balance. Cash paid to creditors, creditor's account debit to bank account credit. Now this is the extension of building, payment made for building, this will go to the balance sheet. So building 4000. Cash in and closing balance, that will also appear in the trial balance, closing balance, cash balance, debit balance. Cash at bank, this bank balance, it will also appear here and the here cash and bank balance are recorded in cash and bank combined account. So total balance will be 29,600. So all these transactions are recorded. Now I will first cl close this cash and bank account. Both the sides total should agree because I don't find anything to be missing. So, 1,68,000, 1,68,000, this is the total. In case of debtors account, I will find out the closing balance of debtors and that will appear in my trial balance, debit balance, 272,000. Now, I will find out the creditors balance. So, total of credit balance, total of debit credit balance, that will go to the trial balance. HO account I have already recorded by difference. Now, I would like to have a total of my trial balance, the total of both the sides should agree. So 397,600 is the trial balance that is being prepared at the end of 6 months. Now, up to building, all these items are the expense, trading and profit and loss account items, so is it. Now this trading and profit, these are the revenue accounts. Building, building account is not a revenue account, but all the accounts other than this building are revenue accounts, so is it. Now for this revenue accounts, I will record the entry. Head of his account debit what? That I will find after totaling the items. So all these revenue items are transferred to head of his. This is the journal entries recorded in the books of branch, remember. So head of his is transferred all the debit balances of trial balance and all the debit balances relevant to revenue account are transferred to the HO account. So HO account debit to purchase account, to wages account, to salaries account, to general expense account, to fire insurance, manager salary, discount allowed, 
So transfer various revenue accounts to the answer account. So this is the total that you are required to make and that total will be recorded here and that works out to be 88,400. So HO account is debited with all revenue debit balances, HO account debit to all revenue expense account. Now I will record credit balance, sales account debit, discount earned account debit to HO account credit. So all the revenue and credit balances are transferred to HO account. Now what is the effect of this? Total of credit, this 241,200 minus 88,400, it's a profit. Profit is transferred to HO account. HO account is credited with the net difference, that's profit. Now all the assets are transferred or HO account debit, 4,000 to building account, transfer an amount spent for building, so HO account is debited for payment made for building. Now this is how all the items are transferred to HO account. Now after this, this balance is worked out, this balance will appear in the balance sheet, balance sheet of Delhi branch. As on 30th September, HO account is just like a capital account, total of credit minus total of debit, HO account will appear here. Now, these are the assets. So cash will appear on the asset side. Cash at bank, debtors, creditors, liability side, salary paid in advance, prepaid insurance. If you make a total of this balance sheet, the balance sheet total will agree. So this is how transfer entries are recorded in the books of branch wherein the trial balance is prepared after recording all the transactions to the accounts open by on the basis of opening trial balance. So opening balance sheet balances are there. They are recorded as respective opening balance and respective accounts. Transactions during the six months are recorded. After recording the transaction, the trial balance is prepared. On the basis of trial balance, all the revenue accounts are transferred to HO account. So difference of revenue accounts is known as profit transfer to HO account. And over and above, the trial, the balance sheet is prepared at the end of six months. Now, generally, the, what is the peculiarity of this sum? Generally, in majority of the sums, the absorption entries are required to be recorded. But the peculiarity of this sum that we are required to record the transfer entries in the books of branch, that's a very important point of this sum. So this sum is basically partly a sum of single entry. So transaction for six months are given on the basis of that trial balance at the end of six months is prepared. And on the basis of trial balance, all the revenue accounts. So accounts benefits have expired within an accounting period time span of six months. All those revenue accounts are transferred to the HO account and all the assets the balance of HO account is just treated as capital account and all other assets and liabilities are recorded. This is how the balance sheet of the branch is prepared. So the most important point of this sum that in this sum we have recorded transfer entries. Generally, we have generally students record absorption entries in the books of HO. Here we have recorded transfer entries. That's an important point. So this is how I have tried to explain with this sum. I feel that you have followed all these things. Look at it. Thanks to Allah.